Today I'm going to show you an amazing feature on Google for pronunciation. This is great not only for learners of English as a foreign or second language, but also for native speakers who might be interested in how to teach pronunciation and learn various uh, accents. <laughs> and they might want to practice other accents uh, other than their own, which is what I like to do. So let's take a look at it. All you need to do is go into Google search and search for the word. So I'm going to search for inevitable. Now notice there's a video there at the bottom which might be relevant and it might not be relevant. So keep that in mind. Let's go into inevitable and hit the uh, icon over here to hear what it sounds like. Inevitable. I hope you heard that. Let's try again. Now let's practice by going into practice. Right, so notice you also get the mouse here, the mouth, which is uh, cute. And uh, you also get help in uh, breaking down. Here it goes. Okay, let's uh, practice. Inevitable. Inevitable. Now it says here, notice, try to stress less emphasis on this vowel sound and pronounce it quickly. All right, so let's do it quickly. Inevitable, inevitable. Now I got it. Now, isn't that amazing? It's really, really good practice. And it's a way to uh, actually get empowered because you really want to get there. And once you get there and you get that good job, I think that says it all. Now, I just want to point out that you not only get pronunciation here, but you also get meanings and other things. So let's go back and I'll show you what you get. Of course, don't forget the feedback at the bottom there, but let's go back. So when you, you can search for words, notice here, okay, by going into the search for a word. And when you get the word, the one that I chose, you get a, examples of, of course, war was inevitable. Um, certain to happen, unavoidable, and then you get similar words like unavoidable, inescapable, that you can look up and try to pronounce, of course. And if you open that up, you get a lot more. Okay, so notice what you're getting here. You're also getting it as a noun, a situation that is unavoidable, but by the morning, by morning, he had accepted the inevitable. And you could also choose a language to translate from. Notice all these languages that you can choose from. And you also get more definitions of the original word. So notice what you're getting here. Latin, the root, and each part. And you also get use over time. So you're getting lots of information here that I think uh, you will find useful. And, and I'm sure your students will find useful as well. So they can practice on their own. You just need to kind of encourage them and uh, if necessary, do it with them a few times so they get the hang of it. You can also use this on your phone, of course, uh, which is great. If you have any questions or you'd like uh, more information about this, uh, let me know in the comment box below. Have a great day.